Hi guys, I'm Alan from Optical Media. Today's video, I want to show you guys and talk about the heat transfer tip that I've been using, and you can also call it Max Tape. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started, please subscribe on my channel for more videos. All right. So as you can see here, there's two different type of um, shirt here. So there's one you would need a heat transfer tape or heat transfer or Max Tape. There's one you don't need a heat transfer tape to go ahead and transfer it to your shirt. Okay. As you can see here, this design here, you don't need a heat transfer tape to transfer it on your shirt because everything already cut all together, okay? Not a lot of detail, so you don't need a heat transfer tape. The only time you need to use a heat transfer tape or max tape is when you have a lot of detail on your um, on your designing, all right? Like something like here, okay? If you print and cut something like this, as you can see, everything just cut separate. So you will need a heat transfer tape for you to peel everything all in one and you could go ahead and add it to your shirt like you can see here different colors different everything okay that's when you go ahead you will need a, a heat transfer tape to go ahead and transfer it to your to your shirt here so let me show you guys what I mean by uh, uh, um, detail on your design in here okay so something here okay as you could see here let me zoom it in so let's say if i'm ready to print and cut something like this here as you can see the birthday is by himself king is by himself the stars is by himself the king logo is by himself so if i print that design here and cut it everything just gonna cut separate okay everything cut separates and if i'm trying to use my hand to peel the birthday king everything one by one to apply it to your shirt it will not come out professional and it will not come out right so that's when you go ahead and apply your heat transfer tape or your mask tape to peel everything off all in one and you could go ahead and apply it to your shirt so let's just go back to the to that one here so i want to show you guys one more thing here you could see the color that's in the computer it's not the same as the color that's in the shirt here you know what i'm saying the color that's in the computer is more colorful than the one in the shirt i still get a good color here but it's two different colors okay so that's what i want you to guys to subscribe on my channel so i could show you guys what is the trick and what is the tip you need to use and that heat transfer tape also work for pigment ink and dye sublimation ink so what i'm using here is dye sublimation on both shirt here all right so i want you guys to subscribe on my channel so i could upload the full video so you guys i could show you guys how to apply the heat transfer tape how to print how to cut and also what kind of heat transfer tape that i was using all right so i think that's pretty much it make sure you subscribe for more videos and thank you and thanks for watching